Well, Cook County has a problem, a lawsuit problem. Taxpayers have paid out tens of millions of dollars to settle thousands of claims since 2012. And as 2 investigator Brad Edwards reports, the county faces another 650 suits, including this one. I went to the Cook County Jail November of 2015 to bail my son out. While there, Veronica McNeary says a deputy forced her to remove a head wrap. Then he said, take your shirt off, too. And I said, do I have to take my shirt off? And the officer at the bell said, did he tell you to take it off? And I said, yes. She complied and sued. The guard was disciplined and termination is being sought. The sheriff's office said its policy of staff is that everyone is treated with respect. Two investigators found the county paid over $186 million to settle or satisfy 2,100 cases since 2012. That includes more than 450 grand to resolve sexual harassment claims and more than half a million to settle lawsuits from employees who claimed they were wrongfully fired by Assessor Joe Barrios. We got to figure this out. Cook County Commissioner Richard Boykin is on the board's litigation subcommittee. I think probably we could save at least 80% of the money on settlements from stupid mistakes that are being made by individuals who aren't trained properly. If a commissioner has some other training that we're missing. I'd love to see it. I have a feeling we're already doing it. But Sheriff Tom Dart. Wow. The county's paid more than $27 million to settle lawsuits relating to his Department of Corrections. Lawsuits where inmates often allege mistreatment, yeah. or in Dart's like words, conditions like there's cobwebs in the um, cell, there's spiders. Someone doesn't like the taste of the food. The reality, he says, it's often more expensive to defend a suit than to settle it. A top consideration. What is the best deal for the taxpayers here? The county's biggest liability, it's hospitals, having paid out $120 million for medical mistakes and more since 2012. That doesn't include a recent $48 million verdict where a jury deemed the county was negligent in the abuse death of eight-year-old Giselle Ford, a verdict the county may appeal. How many of these lawsuits are, are human error? I think the preponderance... And hospital officials say they're striving to reduce the number of errors in the delivery of care. President Tony Preckwinkle's office says, quote, county employees are dedicated, but stress will continue to demand accountability from their workforce. Rob and Erica. So with the commissioner speaking out now, what does he plan to do going forward to actually see some of these solutions implemented? Well, I don't think there's an easy fix. Mm -hmm. No one would claim that. But I think he talks about training employees so they aren't as susceptible to lawsuits and also accountability. You heard it twice said if an employee, if there is human error, then they shouldn't be paid a salary and then paid their mistakes. They should go. Okay. Thank you, Brad. Mm -hmm.